Hello everyone. In today's Cloud Immersive Power Automate demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to use our first and last name validators in a simple example flow. These validators fall under the umbrella of our data validation connector, and they are close cousins of another connector action we've demonstrated on this channel before called parse and validate a full name. The difference with these individual validators is they don't worry about suffixes, middle names, or any other formalities. They are only concerned with making sure first and last name inputs are typed in correctly. Specifically, they will let us know if first or last name inputs are valid and known or valid and unknown. It's important to note that a valid but unknown name can still be misspelled because oftentimes people spell their names in unique ways, and we cannot fully account for that. To demonstrate these connector actions, I'll walk you through a flow I've created which checks first and last names for their validity and creates a Trello card only if both names are valid. Let's get right to it. Starting on the Power Automate homepage, I'm going to jump into my saved flows and select this first and last name validator button. On the flow diagram page here, you can see that I've started with a manual trigger and funneled that into a parallel process. In my manual trigger, I've added text inputs where users can type in the first and last names they want to validate. On the left side of my parallel process, I've included the first name validator and on the right side, I've included the last name validator. These actions are really straightforward, only requiring one input a piece. So I've simply passed through dynamic content containing my arguments from the trigger step using Power Automate's dynamic content function. In order to access both of these connectors, we just need to type Cloudmersive into the connector search bar and select the Cloudmersive data validation connector with the blue-gray logo from the list of options below. Note that if you haven't used this connector before, you'll be asked to input your API key to authenticate access. To get one, just register a free account on our website and you'll get an API key shortly after. Your free account will allow up to 800 API calls per month with zero additional commitments, which is perfect for smaller scale projects. Moving on, the next step in the flow is a condition which dictates whether a Trello card will be created or if the flow should stop because of invalid inputs. I've set up my condition so that these two groups here need to have at least one valid result option in order for the flow to continue. Remember, the valid outputs are valid known and valid unknown. So that's why I've accommodated two possibilities for each name. In the if yes scenario of my condition, I've set up a simple Trello card generator which will concatenate the first and last name as well as concatenate the validation results. As a quick aside, I'm only using Trello to demonstrate because it's a popular task management platform, but you can easily set up the same type of card generator with dozens of other similar applications as well. In the if no scenario of my condition, I've asked the flow to simply stop working if none of the validation conditions are met. Now that we've had a look at everything, I'll quickly show you valid and invalid outcomes. After clicking test in the upper right corner of the page, I'm selecting the option to trigger manually. When I do so, I get the option to add in the first and last names in the input fields I specified. As you can see, when I enter the name Brian Johnson and run the flow, I trigger the if yes scenario and a Trello card is created. I'm not going to jump over to Trello right now, but you can still easily see within the connector output that the proper conditions were met. However, when I redo the flow and this time make a sloppy mistake typing in one of the names, the flow fails to run. That's because I entered an invalid character. The same thing would happen if I forgot to enter one of the names at all, it would simply fail and ask me to try again. Both of these connector actions are perfect for use in any flow where we want this type of data to be valid and easily saved the first time around. We don't want the people who are using a flow like this to get away with sloppy data entry or forgetting to add names at all. That'll just about do it for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Cloudmersive Power Automate demonstrations in the near future.